News Talk Breakfast. In association with AIR. Seamless connections with Ireland's number one broadband provider. It is coming up to 18 minutes past seven on News Talk Breakfast with Kira Kelly and Shane Coleman. Now, more than half of Ireland's beaches and harbours are now falling short of what is considered clean by European standards. That's according to a new report from Irish Business Against Litter. We're joined by their spokesperson, Conor Horgan. Conor, these results are quite disappointing. Just bring us through the findings. Well, this is the third time we've done this survey, Shane, of beaches and harbours around the around Ireland. And we have seen significant improvement this time around. We've had bad okay. results in the past. OK, the bottom line is that fewer than half of our beaches and harbours are clean. That's not good. But within that, there are positives. You know, this is taking place at a time when staycationing is at its peak. It's at record levels. And that does place demands on these areas. Nonetheless, we've seen very well-known beaches like British Bay, La Hinch, Port Marnock, Tremor, Strand Hill. They've all improved. They're all clean to European norms. Unfortunately, at the other end of the table, uh, popular resorts like Salt Hill has deteriorated significantly. So has Bundoran. Loch Ray was also littered. So it's a mixed picture, but overall the number of clean areas has improved. Why are our beaches messier and more littered than our streets? Because normally when we're talking to you about our, uh, about our streets, you're saying, you know, bar a few black spots, it's, we're pretty good. We're ahead of European averages. Here we're still behind, albeit with some improvement, we're behind European averages. What's the problem here? Are we not cleaning our beaches? Are people just messier when it comes to the beach? Well, I think um, one of the improvements we're seeing this time from the reports that Antashka, who carried out the survey for us, have submitted is that, you know, there's, there's more bins than there was. And that has been a sore point in relation to beaches in the past, that there hasn't been enough bins. We've seen an investment in more bins and better bins. We're seeing temporary bins when there's lots of people coming to an area. Um, we're also seeing more recycle facilities better signage, better facilities generally. So, so you know, th- that's the reason for the improvement, I would say, is that local authorities are upping their game. Nonetheless, I think we have a problem, Shane, that, you know, as a nation, when we all flock to the beach, which might be quite sporadic over the course of a year, you know, we don't prepare to take all our waste home with us. So it's inevitable that that waste gets left behind. We're a windy country. That doesn't help. It's hard to manage the litter. We hear of overflowing bins where, the, you know, the litter gets blown all over the place. So it's, 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 a, it's a difficult area to manage in many ways. So okay. from that point of view, I think that the improvement here is very welcome. And just before you go briefly, what do we need to do to continue that improvement? Um, we need the local authorities who have fared poorly here to look at their systems, to look at more investment in beaches, staycationing may be here to stay, people deserve a clean environment in which to enjoy um, our coasts and um, we need uh, the, the, coast, the clean coast groups, there's over 1,500 of them around the country, they need to keep up the good work in patrolling yeah. our beaches and keeping them clean, we have a lot to thank them for. We do indeed and you're absolutely right to pay credit to them. Uh, Conor Horgan a spokesperson for Irish Business Against litter. Thanks indeed for talking to News Talk Breakfast. Take home your litter when you go to the beach. It's not that bloody difficult.